We're back. What's up, Beast? My name's Logan. <sighs> Sometimes in life, you know, we fuck up bad, you know. This isn't real. Oh, by the way, in case you missed the blur there, we got Diet Pepsi. It's bad for you. Stains your teeth. I don't give a fuck, really. Just to be honest with you. I don't want to say it. Mmm. That's so good. So good. I like that. Anyway. Dynasty Warriors 8 Empire is revisited. <clears throat> I made a video a few days ago. Obviously. Hence the revisited and uh, the well quite frankly the information that I presented just wasn't quite up to snuff. I just I didn't look up any of this shit. I just went solely based off of my experience and what I what I had seen thus far without delving too much further. You know, it was more of first impressions more than anything. But uh however a V subscriber, uh actually a very long time subscriber, uh, the X Dwarf and as you'll see in his com I'm going to, after I release this video, private the old video because I don't want it to be a source of misinformation. And in the description box, I'm going to leave his comment. So, and I'm, I'm going to read it for you right, right fucking here. And then there's some stuff that he doesn't mention in the comment that I have since found out was false that I'm going to let you know on. And that sort of transitions in, into another part of it here. I'm going to go ahead and start. And I'm going to read exactly word for word what he fucking said. Alright, here we go. Once again, thank you, uh, X Dwarf. Last time I remember, there was 850 created character slots. God damn, that's a lot of that's a lot of character slots, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, 50 in each set. The scenarios, as I was correct, uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion, uh, the Dong Zhuo thing, uh, then Guandu. Chibi and coup d'etat and he goes on to say no you cannot unlock others which I didn't know I asked and he answered I am actually working on a custom scenario where I'm placing all 800 plus officers individually which is long but well worth it god damn you can make that just now occurred to me you can actually make more created officers than officers that start in the game now, how crazy is that anyway let's continue onward here uh, the map in uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires and 7 Empires is exactly the same with 24 cities. I thought that there was previously 25. He corrected me. They've also added all of the Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5 custom costume costumes. Uh, then he went on to talk about uh, Zun Yu as the character. And uh, lamented his chagrin that they're going to fuck with him so much, uh, despite the fact that it's based off the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms novel. Uh, he says you can have up to two sworn brothers at once. Uh, by this, I mean when one of them die, you can very quickly find a replacement. True. When having a child, they inherit the move sets and costumes as a combination of the parents. I did not know that. Even if the parents are original officers. The options for red hair are also the same as the other horses. However, I still think that that is not true. I believe muscle mass is something that you cannot change on red hair. I believe that's an option that uh, you cannot change on red hair. He said he'd give it a 6 out of 10. He said he'd give it a uh, 6 out of 10. Anyway. Anyway, something else I said in the video that uh, I have since found to be wrong is I said, You can listen to any track from any of the games. That is simply not true. It is so untrue, in fact, that they are actually charging uh, tracks as DLC. I'm actually on the PlayStation 4 right now. So let me, me look this up exactly here. I'm going to tell you. Let me get on the PlayStation Store. It's some bullshit, too. I was just checking to see maybe if there's a new game I'd like to download or something like that. Or I looked here. Let me find it. add-ons Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires alright 
Currently, there are seven add-on packs for Dynasty Warriors 80 Empires. An edits, uh, or BGM and edits part pack for two ninety nine involves the following tracks. Dynasty Warriors 2, Battle of Chibi, Wei, uh, Dynasty Warriors 3, Endless Fight, Battle of the Wuzhang Plains, uh, Wei. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. When I say Dynasty Warriors 3, these are the tracks from the game, which it looks like at the most there's two from each game. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 3, Endless Fight, and Battle of the Wuzhang Plains, my, my bad. Dynasty Warriors 4, Leader, and the Old Turban Rebellion. Dynasty Warriors 5, Narrow, Escape, and Skirmish. Dynasty Warriors 6, Assault, Yellow Turban, Rebellion. Dynasty Warriors 7, Battle of Wu Jun on the Wu side. Wong Ling's Rebellion on the Jin side. Dynasty Warriors 7, Extreme Legends, the uh, Pong De custom track. New tracks added, Run With the Tiger, which is a battle song. And then the strategy section something called Serene Citadel, added hair color types, golden, striped, tawny, and then they added colors for the horses, and a single armor, which is the Nobun Yaga set, which is how it's worded there, for two ninety nine. Furthermore, up next we have for five ninety nine US we have accessories. 34 accessories for males and 41 accessories for women. Come on now, what the fuck? Uh, edit parts, equipment, one for 399 has a single armor for both. Or, no, I'm sorry, not single armor, but two different armors for both uh, genders. Edit parts equipment two for three ninety nine as well. Two uh, sets of armor for both. I mean, what the fuck is this? For real? For real? Come on now. Edit parts equipment three. Two more. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, two armors for both genders again. I got some screenshots here. Let me look at this shit here. Then they have a, a bundle. Edit parts equipment set one uh, for ten bucks in which you can get all of those. Uh, not including the BGM thing, the first one, but all the equipment things. Pretty much six armors for each each gender there. And then finally, we got the Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires edit parts face and hair, which uh, added hairstyle types. 36 for male and female. They added eight more mustaches, eight more beards, 27 noses for both genders. Uh, 27 different mouth types for both uh, genders, and five additional, and this one's probably the most important, five different things of eyebrows, new for each race, for gender rather, not race, not bad, once again. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Outside of DLC, though, I still think the game is disappointing. You know, I I gotta say, it just it feels like. I mean, Dynasty Warrior Seven Empires was fun. I, I mean, I liked it somewhat. It, It just it, it seemed a little goofy looking. I don't know. Perhaps that's just me. But it played well, you know. It was a Dynasty Warriors game. New character was pretty beast. The tactics thing was, or uh, the, the tactics gimmick rather was was okay. You know, it had some really cool ones. I thought. Uh, but oh well. Uh, no one's horse shit the bed. I think uh, it's not necessarily even that it's it, that's a bad game. But uh, the thing is, 
is it does what Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires did, just not as good. You know? I know that sounds goofy, but it's true. You know what? Instead of going back all over it again, I'm going to link the uh, original video right now. And if you haven't seen it, uh, go watch that. And I give my general overall thoughts on the majority of the game, just with some little things that I've since corrected here. Uh, once again, thank you, Axe Dwarf. Y'all need to give him a thumb up, you know, whatever. Say he's a beast, whatever. On uh, the old video, reply to him, let him know. Of course, you probably knew all that stuff yourself, but who knows? Who fucking knows? I'm actually uh, playing uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 complete edition it's sort of what inspired me man I was just sitting here bored as fuck playing through here and I got and I went man I really did I said I, I needed to correct some of that misinformation something I've been needing to do for a while just oh my goodness my goodness there you go I'll see you next time guys uh, yeah